now that we've done the uh, factorial function, we're ready to talk about the permutation function. So the permutation function is answering um, a question, can be put in one of two ways. One is uh, how many different ways are there to place three out of seven objects into three bins? Or a slightly different way is how many different ways are there to select three out of seven objects when the order matters? Okay, we'll hear this phrase, when the order matters and when the order doesn't matter. So here the order matters. What do I mean by this? I simply mean that we take um, any three out of these objects and we place them into the bin. Okay, so the order matters because this is different than this. All right. So it's actually, now that we've done the factorial, it's quite easy to figure out how many ways there are to do that um, because we start with the first bin. For the first bin, we have seven possibilities. So let's say we take the dog. Then the second bin, we have six possibilities. And for the third bin, we have five possibilities. Okay, so in total, what we get is um, 7 times 6 times 5. Okay, so that is uh, equal to the um, permutations of 7 choose 3. Okay, that's the notation we use for that. Um, we can also write it quite nicely using the factorial by doing the following. Let me make some space. And we can write it in the following way. This is equal to 7 times 6 times 5. And then we multiply it times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, and divide by the same thing. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so we can basically say that this and this cancel each other out, right? So, um, so what are these equal to? So this is simply equal to, equal to 7 factorial divided by um, 4 factorial and what is 4? 4 is basically what remains after we take 3 out of 7 so it's equal to 7 factorial divided by um, 7 minus 3 factorial okay so um, maybe I can just do this once more so it'll be more clear. Um, okay, so I'm going to write the same thing again. Um, we have 7 times 6 times 5 is equal to 7 times six times five and this we multiply by four times three times two times one and we divide it again by four times three times two times one okay and so that is equal to seven factorial divided by four factorial which is also can be written if we want to use the numbers that we had, seven, seven elements in three bins, we have it as seven factorial divided by um, seven minus three factorial. Or if you want the general, the general um, equation, would be p 
of n and k is equal to um, n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. Okay? So now we can look at the whole picture again. And there you have the complete picture. Okay? So, right. Okay.